Waiting, not waiting anymore. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Your boy D is nussled up here for the wonderful new year. I uh, said I was starting at 10. I started at 10.20 because, quite frankly, I have children. And uh, if they were to be around here, it would not be that good of a live stream. But they're uh, at a friend's house. So I'm nussled up. You guys ever seen a Snuggie before? These things are amazing. Look at this thing. It's like one degree outside. I'm like warm and nice and cozy. I've got a lot uh, a lot going on here. I gotta tuck myself in. I'm sitting on a pink chair. This is great. So I'm, uh, I'm super stoked to be bringing it to you all. I've got coffee, I've got water. Uh, I've got every fish tank in the room to share with you. Uh, if you don't mind, speaking of sharing, would you mind sharing the wonderful last day of 2017 spirit and uh sharing this little video if you uh so desire can you can you hit the share button and share it out to the internet universe or whatever if you will that would uh help me out make me feel important here and uh yeah i got my uh my unspillable coffee so that i uh inevitably i spill something every time i do one of these but not this coffee not this time and uh, yeah, we've got a lot to uh, share today. Just to give you a preview of what we got going on, it's hard to move with these big, wonderful Moses-like things. I've got uh, this tank, these tanks over here to show you. Uh, I've also got a new tank uh, over here that I'm going to show you in a second with a lot of fun stuff. And it's Sunday. It's Species Sunday. Dusty's got a uh, a fun new species to share with you all today. A little bit of a curveball. So, yeah, let's get into it here. So, first and foremost, uh, yeah, I want to say that it's the last day of the year, and uh, 2017 was an epic year for me, and I want to highlight um, some of the stuff that we accomplished in uh, 2017. It's one of my biggest years, uh, a lot of, in a lot of, a lot of ways with the YouTube channel, personally, uh, business-wise, family-wise, a lot of great stuff going on. So, uh, super pumped about that. I'm going to share those. Uh, with you and then kind of like some accomplishments and I recommend that everybody does this too because if you can uh, You can like view the accomplishments that you've had uh, Throughout the year I'm gonna turn this light on here. If you can view the accomplishments you've had uh, Now you can really see me if you can view, go look at the accomplishments you've had throughout the year You'll uh, build momentum and then you can look at the stuff that you didn't accomplish And you can say all right I got this list of stuff that I did that was real good and then I got this stuff that I didn't quite get accomplished or was kind of failures or whatever. And then you can build a list of goals and you can be better guided on your way to a successful whatever venture you're trying to do. I do that once a month, but you should do that at least this time of year at the end. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm pumped about that. I want to uh, show you guys the 220 behind me. I'll show you the 10 gallon and the B26 and the little low boy that I've got. But uh, we got time. Wife and kids are gone. So I'm going to highlight some of the stuff that went down. Uh, this year on the old YouTube channel. Uh, I did the small tank series. I had a lot of fun with that. I don't know, you can click the links around here and check that out. Everybody was doing bigger tanks. I decided to do small ones, and I think that really resonated with people. Uh, I had a good time with the five gallon. I've got a, I've got a 10 gallon Lion King tank over here. And uh, I am actually just gonna show that. That's one of the things I accomplished. I'm gonna give you guys an update right now on that. It's gonna be a little more challenging for me to uh, move this all. But um, we'll get this going here. Thanks for all the shares, comments, and what have you. I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the 10-gallon right here. So bring this down here. And uh, this is a 10-gallon. I just did a big, nice water change on this. And I got to say, I'm liking the uh, Christmas moss. And this is just a tank that I'm just kind of like letting go and let it kind of just run on its own. And it's worked out well. I've got two lights. I just up from Denner Escapers Tank. This is the new Fluval LED uh, coming out. And um, so yeah, this has got the Christmas moss all throughout it. And I'm uh, pumped the way that it kind of, it kind of died off and then it kind of came back. But you can see the green growth at the center there. And then this filter, a little aquaqueer, there's a little beastly little filter here, but this sucks everything in and kind of gets it moving. So super, uh, super liking showing how that's going. Um, this is the best tank that I have right now that I actually wish that I could show better on camera. This is the Fluval B26 right here. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this, 
this tank because it's uh, really, really low maintenance. This is a boost tank. If you enjoy this, can I get a like? Uh, and this has all kinds of fun little critters in it too. It's got a little... A fire shrimp, and they are rocking right there. That's one of them. And uh, I've got other ones around here somewhere. There's another one over there. And then this tank is actually a year old, so I'm going to give you a nice slow roll on it. Uh, it's done with Busa Philandra, and the camera doesn't really do it justice, which is why I brought it to the aquatic experience. But uh, it's got the boost right here, and um, I don't exactly know what type of boost of flander all this is, to be totally honest, because it's just kind of like labeled where it's from. But I've got some nice boost back here. I've got some more up here, and then this is a tricolor boost of flander right here. So you can see that's really, uh, that's really popping, and I'm really enjoying that. And that's one year's worth of growth. So that stuff takes a real long time to grow. Uh, my recommendations with the boost, if you can get your hands on it, is A, get it. And then B, um, you know, give it just a little bit, a little bit of fertilizers, and uh, the nice water change, and you'll get these new, this new kind of growth like this, which does really, really well. So that's a lot of fun. And then this is a crenum. Everyone asked me this. This is a crenum calamastratum right here. That's uh, I've got these on my site as well as crenum tyanum for a change. Um, this plant right here is a Yonkus Rippens. Junk ass is how it's uh, spelled. That's a Junkus Rippens right there. And that's a fun little plant that uh, does pretty well. It's actually a native plant in the United States. And then over here, this is Hemianthus. This is Baby Tears. And I did a little uh, thing on carpeting plants. And this is one of my favorite carpeting plants. This is a Baby Tears right here. And then over there's another shrimp. And I do have one betta fish that lives in here, but he hides quite a bit. But there's another one of those. So I'm really, uh, really loving the cherry shrimp going on in here. You can see that guy right there. So there is two of the tanks. And then up here, I have a new species of air plant, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So yeah. There's that one, and there's that one, and then over here is another tank. But we're gonna we're gonna sit in here and uh, tell you all about the 220 for a minute. Now the 220 has been super neglected because the 220 is really really hard for me to do a water change on, and it bothers me because I can't do a uh, I can't do an easy water change on it because it goes down, you know, this much or whatever is, I mean, it's a 220 gallon tank, so you gotta think 50 gallons of uh, water is being replaced in a 25, 25%, 20-ish percent water change. So that like is really, really hard on my water tank. So my hot water heater tank can't keep up with that. Now I just did a water change, but I wanna show this here. This is my hot water heater back here. This is the uh, wonderful laundry room. And this sucker back here can't keep up. That thing can't keep up with it. It also has little ghetto uh, ghetto hot on and off because when we redid our basement, it didn't. Uh, they didn't redo these pipes because they weren't up to code. So they had to like do these after the inspection was done. So it comes out of here. The problem is, is it'll be like super hot and super cold, super hot, super cold and I can actually test it with my hand right here like I can like get this one open and have this one closed then I run the python which is nice and I do run the python all the way into over here so the 220 doesn't get uh quite the amount of water changes that she really should but to show some of the plants in the 220 I'm gonna take you all upstairs the uh the 220 I've tried to do some fancier plants but the reality of it is it's 30 inches deep and the 30 inches deep just doesn't really cut it for the lighting i'm trying not to knock over my coffee and what have you around here so what i've done is i've gone and i've used uh lower plants lower light plants in the front here is a bulbitis which is doing 
what will bite us does, and that's just chill and grow and chill and grow. And that's uh, that's been a great one, actually. And then over here, I've got Anubius Coffee Folia. And the Coffee Folia has the more red stem. And that's what you want to look for is the darker stem and darker leaves, too. You can't really see the red stem. Now, notice this is above the water line. Or excuse me, above the substrate line. And then uh, it's got above that. But then the rhizome is always above the substrate, okay? It's always above the substrate. That's the key. And you can notice all the bubbles coming off of here. I just did a nice big water change on here. Um, down here, I used to try to grow Starro down here, but I just wasn't doing enough of the maintenance and it wasn't good enough. So I've switched it out with Anubius. The Anubius seems to be doing really, really well. I've also got some nice big crypts going on in the mix down at the bottom. And then everybody always asks me what this big plant is back here. This is a Crenum Natans. A Crenum Natans. And I periodically have them in stock, but at this time I do not. And my goal with this tank is to have it be kind of two separate sides. And then the two separate sides are kind of like, cla like clashing. Like this side is fighting this side, if you will. And then there's the tension in between with the red. So, so that's accomplished in the 220. And I think it's, it's gone pretty well. I also want to show this. People always say they get algae in their Anubias. good water flow. And this uh, is an Anubias barteri. It does not get a uh, ridiculous amount of algae on it. Now these stems do. This has boost on it. That has algae on it. And the problem is I can't keep any kind of like crawly critter like uh mystery snail in here because I have one fish that I've had since I was in Peru and that fish is right there. And there's a checkerboard cichlid and I've had him since my first Peru trip in 2012 so I can't get rid of him even though I would like to because he eats the I can't get rid of him because a I can't catch him and then b uh I can't catch him and then oh that's the main thing I can't catch him but uh even if I did I wouldn't really have a good place to put him so Otherwise, if I could get rid of him, I could put like mystery snails in here and I could have a real good time with the But the mystery snails immediately are like pecked on because they got the long things and he goes right after them. But you can see on top there, I've actually had, had some time reason they don't, he doesn't have tiger nerites. So, so far so good with that. And then there's some variatus. It's not a platy, it's not a molly, it's a variatus. And then here's some of the interesting things that go on in this tank. I'm gonna take my take my wonderful man robe off. This is the uh, this is the Cross River Rainbow that I got from Gary Lang's house. Um, and these uh, it wasn't at his house that time, St. Louis. And uh, that's from I think the Guinea area. And they play with and school with these. Peruvian bloodfin tetras right here. Peruvian bloodfin tetras. Not your regular bloodfins, but your Peruvian bloodfins. And uh, if I had some food handy, I'd actually feed these guys. Those two are from completely different spots. They hang out together and school together and are ultimately awesome together. And then I want to you guys see here, this is the Nanai Angel. Fish Nanai. They call them Peruvian Altums. It's not an Altum, it's a Sclera, but that fish was hand selected by yours truly in uh, August of a couple years ago. And then the stream is messing up. Oh, come on. Fake internet. Come on. Internet's still good. It's not giving me any problems. Uh, he was picked out of a group of, uh, what's it called? He was picked out. If I'm having trouble with this live, I'm gonna lose my best internet. Um, so he was picked out of the uh, tank at Stingray, which is a wholesaler in Iquito, Peru, and he is a really, really so. A great, I'm absolutely loving that fish. But the problem is he's kind of mean, I'm having trouble. Oh my! Are you kidding me? I'm on. Wi Fi is having problems lagging, of course. Well, there's a, but it's not me that's lagging. I'm sorry about that. It must be the internet provider. 
Not good. Stream is pixelated. Thought it was your internet, of course. Well, I don't know what to tell you about the internet, folks. Get out of the laundry room. I'm out of the laundry room. I'm in the basement. I'm right next to the room. Let's go upstairs next to the Wi-Fi. I'll show you up here. This is what having kids is like. Yep. I'm going to go directly on top of Wi-Fi. I don't know why it lagged. Check this out. So I showed you that. Sorry about the lag. So here's this. It's the family room. It's a ficus tree. It's the lazy dog. This is the uh, Christmas tree that's coming down later today. And this is life with children. Cool. Yeah, so good. So now y'all got the family room. And then out here is the garden pond. People are asking me what to do um, in the winter with it. And I'm telling you right here. You uh, you leave it alone. You just don't do anything. Now, I've got it set up. Yo. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Don't walk out of the house. Oh, my goodness. Lose the internet. I'm going to go directly on top of the Wi-Fi access point. Sorry about that. Should be back. Is it back? It should be back. Unfroze. Good. Hmm. I want you all to know that that's not my doing because I have an Aruba wireless network right here. This is this is like if anybody's into technology, this is an Aruba like wireless. Like that is the best. I don't know, not the best, but it's pretty darn good. So there you go. So I'll stand directly. I'll just do the rest of the stream in front of the Wi-Fi axis. All kidding aside, I want to show my daughter's tank over here. This was aquascaped by my buddy Kevin Kelly of the Brooklyn, it better not still be freezing, I just showed you the access point, um, of the Brooklyn Hardscapers, at Ross Fett on Instagram. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, you're missing it, because I can actually go live with people, which is a lot of fun. So, but this is the brother of that angel fish that I had, and he, uh, yeah, so this fish has a great story because he is one of two of them. So his brother is down in the basement. I'm calling him brothers. Who knows what he is? And uh, he didn't, he was getting picked on in the uh, tank he was set up at. And so he was uh, <laughs> angered the router when he touched it. Can't be, can't see anything blurry. Oh my God, I'm giving up. All right, well, I don't know what to tell you on this, but I'm going to keep going. Hope it gets better. Yeah. There you go. This fish right here has one eye. And it's unfortunate because he is a really, really wicked fish. But he has one eye. So I decided to bring him into my daughter's room. You can see him right there. And uh, it's hilarious because he can only see one way. So he really kind of just um, rolls around and like only looks off to the one side. So he's down here. Right there. And he's got a blue tint to him. And he's really cool. Sorry you guys are having issues with this Wi-Fi. I don't know what to tell you. Cool. So there you go. So there's the uh, the daughter's tank. So this is all dragon stone. It was glued together by my buddy, Kevin. And... Um, he did a great job putting it together. It was supposed to be two spikes, but it just went into one. And, uh, yeah, it turned out really well. And then the other fish is a variatus. And honestly, I'm not sure what the other type of, uh, not sure what type of that guy is. It's some sort of a xiphosphorus or whatever. I forget what the thing is. But um, type of a platy. And then in here, we are running some of these air plants, too. Like that dragon stone? Yeah. So that's fun. And then, of course, my daughter has her full setup right here. All the American dolls. And then we're running uh, willow moss in here. Which the willow moss is a good time. Yep. 
picture is very blurry. No, oh, that sucks. I don't know what to tell you. What's going on? Sorry about the blurry, uh, the blurry stuff. How's the connection, folks? Is it all right? It doesn't. Must be the internet. I don't. I don't know what the deal is, but. Notice I've got the Browns cup right here. The Browns are going for the perfect season. It's pixelated. Of course it's pixelated. Why would the internet work for me? This video sucks. Great. Melting crayon box. Wow. Video not so much. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry it's uh, bad. Does anybody have any good video? I can reset the router and come back on. But uh, sorry it's sucking. Don't really know what to tell you. Just trying to hang out. Trying to get it going. Blame YouTube. Hey, a super chat. What's going on? All right, well, some of you have issues. So I don't know. Maybe some of you guys go and come back. Cool. It's all right. Don't worry about the buddy. Steelers aren't playing Ben or Brown. <laughs> nice. Cool. Brown's perfect se season. Cool. Fam, we still with you. Cool. All right, good. Keep going. Well, I shall keep going. Let me show you the most fun thing that I've got going on right now. Um, is the Wi-Fi picking up for you guys? We missed that whole tank. Is the is the is it all right? Better now? Is the, is the Wi-Fi better? Yeah, maybe. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's very frustrating. Just trying to give. Trying to give. No. All right. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You guys not get that tank? Reset it, D. Slightly. Looking for some confirmation. It's not better. It's now up from 420p. All right. Uh, reset it and come back. Love it when it goes bad. No better. Say, say this episode. All right. Well, I'm sad. So I'm going to uh, end this. And thank you for the super chat earlier. And I don't know if it's uh, what the deal is, but uh, I'm going to uh, going to end it. So thank you everybody for hanging out and being on here. And uh, I'm not sure what the deal is, but I'll try to come on with the laptop or something. Bye bye. Happy New Year. Said it sucks.